Hey everybody, uh, this is Eric. I wanted to start a little uh, video kind of memories with Eric. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have ever like had a fear of water or o oceans or anything, but for as long as I can remember, I have been afraid of the water. Uh, I've, I'm afraid of fish. Uh, I'm afraid of the lake. I'm, if, I'm afraid of the unknown. But I have to think back to possibly when this all originated. So I'm thinking back, and I believe when I was about four years old, my grandparents and my parents, they took me to my very first time that I got to go to the ocean. We got to go to Florida. Now, uh, I don't remember the ocean being very clean. I don't remember it being very see-through, but I just remember the ocean. I didn't play much in the ocean because, once again, I was afraid of the sharks, I was afraid of the fish, and I think I was told that there were jellyfish, and we had to be careful, and we had to shuffle our feet because of the stingrays. Well, I was a kid, I enjoyed playing in the sand. So, on the beach, I found a jellyfish. I was only four years old. I've always really enjoyed animals. So there I was, investigating and looking at this jellyfish. It was, it was just, it was probably dead. It had just been washed up on the beach. And I was just there. Now, I didn't like dissect it or like poke at it with a stick, but I would just stare and really investigate uh, all the, the nuances and the little, the veins and all the stuff that you could see on this jellyfish. So I probably stood there and sat there and looked at it for about an hour. And then my mom, down the beach a little bit, yells, it's time to come on, eat lunch or something. Well, I didn't want to leave, but I turned around and I jumped up. And I swear to you, I swear to you, that jellyfish jumped up and slapped me on my back. I start screaming bloody murder. I, I thought I was going to die. The jellyfish somehow that I've been staring at for an hour manifested itself to flip up and land on my back. I start screaming, I'm running down the beach, and it did not get off. I'm telling you, it was on my back, and I'm running, and I'm running, I'm like, ah, it's a jellyfish on my back, it's a jellyfish on my back. I get all the way to my mom, she's like, what happened, what happened? I said, I got a jellyfish on my back. She turned me around, and she didn't help me. She didn't take the jellyfish off. She just laughed. She just left. I think my, my entire family, they all left. Actually, I think what happened was my mom saw the jellyfish on my back and she said, Oh, honey, come here. Look at this. Oh, look at this. And showed that I had a jellyfish on my back. I was like, get it off, get it off. Well, finally, I don't know if you know this. Ladies, um, boys swimsuits, they have this, uh, this white uh, mesh lining. And I'd been sitting there for a long time. I probably picked my butt. I probably did something. But I got that white lining flapped up over there. And it was just hanging down the back of my, my shorts. And when I stood up, apparently it flapped and stuck to my, my back because either I was sweaty or something. And so they were laughing at me. And all it was was my white bath, like swimsuit lining. To this day, 40 years. 40 year old man, I still get teased every time I put on my swimsuit. And they say, Eric, careful with the jellyfish. <laughs> hey, thanks.